Good morning guys from the Arsenal Training Centre. Today we are on a mission to look behind the scenes of Arsenal Football Club, find out the secret behind their success this season, what happened to them. Suddenly, top of the league, best start to a Premier League season ever in club history. They are actual title contenders this season. And how did this come about? What changed? What better place to find that out than the Arsenal Training Ground? We're going to interview three of their key players and I'm not going to tell you who it is yet. You will see later. And this is actually a very, very private location. The public cannot get in here there's a lot of security measures so how the hell did we manage to get in here well all of that in this video you're gonna love it this ground was built in 1999 because Arsene Wenger wanted it, it cost 10 million pounds and was financed by the transfer of Nicolas Anelka to Real Madrid and since then the Arsenal pros have been training here even the England national team used it as their base when they played home games in London the training center has 10 full-size pitches one indoor facility right behind me where the Arsenal first team is currently training rehabilitation center medical center media center whatever and my hair is honestly shambles once again but I'm glad I can at least blame the English weather and the wind. Quick spoiler from the studio if you stay until the end you can even win a signed Arsenal jersey so make sure you do that. Oops look at this guys. We're inside the facilities now. Photo of the 2004 I think Arsenal team. Here we have the women's team. Here they might have some press conferences. Okay lads, we had to wait until the players were done training. Now we can actually enter this indoor training facility. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Let's go. Wow guys, this is sweet man. The dream of every little kid football fan. Wow. Here we have a little gym area, a lot of goals. And here we are preparing to film. Let's go. And I think now is also a good time to tell you how I managed to get into Arsenal's private training center. That has been thanks to Ultimate Champions. Ultimate Champions is a new play-to-earn fantasy football game that I've started to play this season alongside Sorare. Despite the fact the game has only launched this year, they already got 45 partnerships with clubs across nine different leagues, one of them obviously being Arsenal, that's why we're here right now, and over 100,000 users. It's pretty similar to Sorare, also with player cards, but there's a couple main differences that I personally really like. Instead of Sorare's five aside teams, here on Ultimate Champions, you have 11 players in your team. Sorare's scoring is already very detailed, but on Ultimate Champions, the scoring system is even more in depth. And the best thing, in my opinion, is that it's even easier to succeed free to play. And even the good players on the marketplace are much more affordable than on Sorare, obviously, because Ultimate Champions is still such a new game. The game has its own currency called Champ Token that you can use to buy packs and players, and you can actually earn this currency in the game just by playing for free. I'm personally going 100% free to play on Ultimate Champions, so far and I've already earned the first real money rewards. You can sign up for free using my referral link and then you'll already earn your first reward once you've built your starter team. But now let's go back to Arsenal training ground and talk to the players. And what do you think? Stop the video now and comment down below which players I'm going to talk to. I think there's some kind of rehabilitation facilities or something that's all in this center as well. The lads are now getting all set up to film. And over there in front of this goal, I'm going to record with the players later. I'm just a normal football fan and I can now film with three players, three key players for the Premier League front runners. You cannot believe how crazy that feels to me, honestly. I mean, I got up at 3 a.m., but I think it was well worth it. Let's not jinx it though. Maybe they don't come. It must be so good to play here when it's rainy, very rainy, very windy storm me and it often rains in England you hear the rain very very loud on the roof I just heard that but at that time balling in this little indoor stadium here this must be so much fun man can't believe I'm just casually chilling in the Arsenal indoor training center like it's nothing man like it's nothing and for those who don't know this training location here this training center is not at the Emirates because many of you actually told me oh you arrived at Heathrow just take the underground to Emirates it's very very easy this is not at the Emirates guys it's actually outside of London right next to the Watford training center very very private location here probably what they also wanted they want to train in a relaxed and chilled way and not be bothered by too many people watching them I guess very very private secure and intimate here so again I'm so so happy that I managed to get in here and even managed to film here because usually you can't even film me even if you get in here you cannot film but we got a special permit because we're filming here with the players for ultimate champions so crazy 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 that's what I meant you can hear that now when it rains very loud and it's comfy to play football in there Typical English weather, guys. Wow. I still have to get back to the airport. Shit. Okay, at this point, it is not funny anymore. Please stop. Oh my god. It's also flashing. Welcome to England. Wow. 
<laughs> I absolutely jinxed it once again. I just said it would be nice to get a little bit of rain for the feeling. Now we get a meteoric catastrophe. Is that a word? The players are clearly in here because I keep seeing players passing these windows there. And I also saw some player at this door here. So it can only be a matter of minutes until they come here. And here we go, guys. Shaka, Saliba and Tomiyasu. Let's go. For once, I did not jinx it. So now it is about time to find out from the lads themselves. Captain Shaka, centre-back Wonder Kid Saliba and probably the most versatile defender in the Premier League, Tomiyasu. How the hell Arsenal have become so good? And I'm all in for it. Zinchenko is such a funny guy. <laughs> What is he doing, man? And that's the beautiful thing. These guys are only humans as well, making the same jokes as us in Sunday League. Garnet, using stats from Ultimate Champions, I saw that the amount of chances you create is double than last season. What do you think is the number one key factor behind this rise? Um, yeah, it's true. Because of my new position, I'm playing more forward than I played before. And of course, when you're playing more attacking midfielder, box to box, you're creating more chances than before. But at the same time, I also saw that your success rate in terms of duels won and tackles won is even better than last season. So how did you manage to adapt into your new box to box midfielder position so well and so quickly? Of course, you need the teammates, you need the coach. Um, they give you some, some small things to improve and um, exactly where you need to stand in the game. And you can see that in overall our game changed. We are doing amazing at the moment. So of course uh, my performance, the number speaks for myself. I'm just gonna yeah. Michal, cool. cool. Thank you. You're one of the highest scoring defenders for how you perform with the ball on all of Ultimate Champions. I want to know, do you actually check your stats after each game or do you not care about your stats actually? Not that I don't care, but I don't watch uh, every time. Sometimes they send me, sometimes I, I don't see. But yeah, when I, I see I, uh, I touch a lot of the ball, uh, I'm happy, but it's not a thing that I care about. You also scored that top corner header against Brentford, where you secured the win back in September. So it baffles me how you guys managed to get so many different players on the score sheet. Like all of you guys are scoring, basically. Do you have a goal target for each player? Or how do you do that? So yeah, we work a lot uh, in the training to score in the corner. So we have uh, one coach for that. The corner, the throwing, the free kick, we work uh, everything, so that's why every player uh, score. Tommy, you are already one of the most versatile defenders in world football, we can say pretty much. So who inspired you there? Like, do you have a favorite defender of all time? To be fair, when I was young, I didn't watch football a lot. Okay. But uh, I like Mascherano from uh, Argentina. He can lead the game and he leads the situation. He's one of the best defenders. And yeah, I like him. I also saw on Ultimate Champions that in the first 10 Premier League games this season, you only committed two fouls, which is obviously incredible as a defender. So how do you prepare for your opponent? Is there any secret? to you not committing any faults, basically, being so fair. There's no secret to be here, but I just want to make green sheets every game as much as we can. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, guys. I just stood there, just casually chatted with three stars of the Premier League frontrunners. What a feeling that was. I grew up watching the best footballers in the world. Never, ever, ever expected to actually meet them and just talk to them. I still can't really wrap my head around that. Especially Shaka, what a guy. I talked with him in German, obviously. What a cool, relaxed, chilled guy. Even though sometimes you might not believe it. They are just humans and it's so so cool to experience that first time. And I think we did learn quite a lot. Shaka obviously turned into a box-to-box -box midfielder compared to his more defensive role last season which really really unlocked his talent. Of course there's only a small role change for one player in the team but he's arguably the most important player in the team so we cannot underestimate the impact that this small change from Arteta brought to the Arsenal team this season. Tell you what this is one of the coolest days in my life. I'm just happy happy happy. Yo what kind of crazy day. And now I've got the craziest part left for you guys. Anyone here who wants to win a signed Arsenal jersey? Well, Ultimate Champions and me are giving one away to you. We have the North London Derby coming up in a few days and I have built my private league on Ultimate Champions for that match day. It's entirely free to play and it's called the Fiago League. So all you have to do is hit the second link in the description. The first one is my referral link. You can sign up there for free and then the second one is the entry link for the Fiago League. You pick your free players, you line up your team for that match day and you compete against me and the whole community and the one who finishes on top in North London Derby week wins will be sent the signed Arsenal shirt. It's as simple as that, guys. Good luck, everyone. See you in the league. Fiago is out. Peace.